A man of Sir Peter's wealth and stature requires a substantial protection infrastructure, and he has not scrimped in putting together one of the most fearsome security teams in the country. In overall control of security in the Maxwell Estate is Director of Security Jack Coleridge, who is ably assisted by head bodyguard Victor. Um, may I introduce you to Jack Coleridge? He is my Director of Security here at the Maxwell Estates. He's a former SAS colleague of mine and uh, a very fine soldier. Jack is a man of few words, but I can tell you, he is indeed a damn fine soldier, and when we were together in the first Gulf War, shall I tell them this, Jack? Yes, I think I will. I saw him decapitate an Iraqi POW with his bare hands. Sounds a bit extreme, but of course, um, well, she was a leading scientist in Salam's nuclear program, so I guess it was a pretty good show, eh? Yes. And uh, over here we have Victor. Victor is my personal bodyguard. Victor. Tell them how you came to work for the Maxwell's Well, I first met Mr. Maxwell's father. Ah, Sir Peter's. Sorry, I first met Sir Peter's father some years ago when he was opening a supermarket in Gloucester. He was being attacked by a group of locals, seemed to lay in the open or something. Anyway, I saw this and thought they were attacking Bruce Forsyth, because to me, that's who he looked like. Well, I didn't know any better. So, being myself, I jumped into the ruck and ripped me a few new arseholes. You know what I mean? And he's not talking poofter talk here, you know. He means real violence, I can assure you. Violence? It's the name of the game, mate. It's a security business. The lifestyle we lead. Trust, respect, violence. It's all part of the security game. So Peter, he's vulnerable from attacks from all sorts of fucking freaks and psychos out there. And somebody's got to be here to look after him. And that's our job. We're here to protect him. Making sure he sleeps safe in his bed at night. Yeah, nobody coming through the gate is unannounced, etc. What kind of measures are in place to protect Sir Peter? What kind of measures, mate? It's a 25-7 game. We've got 200 security cameras on this estate. SAS boys walk the grounds day and night. This security lodge is manned 24-7. Nobody, and I mean nobody, gets past them, and especially me, without a finger up his arse. Do you know what I mean? When I... Well, when I say finger up the arse, I'm talking mega physically there. I don't do strip search, mate. That's a mega hawk. Well, when I arrived this morning, I got straight to the entrance hall without seeing anyone. What's this? I don't know what this geezer's talking about, Sir Peter. Well, what if he were a Muslim? Well, he's not a Muslim, is he? Look at him, he's a fucking septic. What if this man were a Muslim from Leeds, Victor? What if he had a bomb strapped to him? What if he blew himself up in the East Wing? Come on! They know that Tony is well protected. They come here. Oh no, we can't get we can't get Tony. We go and get Maxwell. We blow him up. You know, Jihad Allah Akbar. I want a report on this, Jack. We'll be sorted, sir. Yeah, it better be sorted, and I'll have a report on my desk in the morning. And if this guy has stepped out of line, if there's been any breach of protocol, I'll have him birched. Now, this evening, Jack. I want you to go to the hangar and to sort me out a limo. Yes, yes. And, um, Let me do that for you, Sir Peter. I'd like to make it up to you. Oh, well, I don't care who does it. Just get me a limo for this evening and make sure it's there on time. Look, uh, I don't like to spend too much time with these people. They'd get up my nose, you know. Let's go, shall we?